For me, competing is the most beautiful journey. When I'm out there, I'm dancing in the moment. There's no past, there's no future. It's just now, and it's a miracle. It's as if God is using the shell that is my body as his vehicle to display pure poetry in motion. Many souls on this celestial sphere dream of being someone significant, of being part of something greater than themselves, someone who really matters. I'm Steve Pitbull Pierce, and I did more than dream. I'm an athlete. Man, that really hurt. Why you got hit so hard? I'm an athlete, damn it. I'll be in great shape. You want to see me lose? You will be tonight. I know, man. I'm trying to help you. You just need to chill. Just heard Pat McGuire's on the farm of his life. I feel like if I'm not in great shape, you have a bit of on my hands. I was on the form of my life in Bradford. It was pure artistry, but it was more than that. With scientific precision, I was lining up all the angles. It's the nearest I've ever been to unadulterated perfection. Triple 20! It's another Triple 20! And another! 180! What happened in Bradford? I had a few too many. Got to be that hand. I threw the dart and it went like a missile, but then suddenly it just stopped. Not in the dartboard, in the referee. Let's just say it was the last I saw of him. He died? No, he didn't die. Just stopped refereeing my games and said I was a loser. Never liked that guy. That's why I tagged him. Tagged him? What, you thought it was an accident? No, I meant it. I'll do it again. Thousands were watching me that day. I saw them all, beer in hand, smiles lighting up the sky. He did mean it, you know. He's such a badass. Sometimes I wish I was him. What's wrong with being you? He's, he's such a smooth guy, whereas I often embarrass myself. Yeah, I represent Steve. He's the best kind of client. He genuinely believes he's a star and just keeps paying up. <laughs> um, he's very deluded, but that just makes him one a hell of a cash cow. Yeah, hello. Yeah, sorry, I, uh... Couldn't get you on Supermarket Sweep. The reason? Well, you're you're not famous enough. They got a guy from the Irish Big Brother instead. Um, I could probably get you on Snog, Marry, Avoid, though, but I'd, uh, I think we both know what their answers would be. Uh, even after the makeover. <laughs> the, uh, no, I'm just, I'm just busting balls, you know. <laughs> yeah, okay, great. Yeah. Yeah, okay, cool. Cheers, then. Yeah, that was him, and, uh, listen, what I said before, I don't want any of that turning up in your little film, all right? You can put the phone call in, but I don't want this affecting my business. And, uh, yeah, again, off the record, he's uh, going to get a loan out on his house, because he can't keep up with payments, because he pays me a fuckload every week. <laughs> I don't really have anything else to say. Um... The, he's a good dance player, but the man's a joke. He thinks he's some sort of lyricist, but he's crap, really. Uh... Have you seen this though? It's a stripping app, right? You, you swipe your finger along the uh, along the screen, and you get the bird takes a kit off. That's a classic. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't have anything else to say though. Uh... Good luck finding someone to watch this shit. Is there a Mrs. Pitbull Piss? No, uh, Pitbull's just a nickname. My real surname's just Pierce. Ah, uh, thanks for clearing that up. That's okay, it's an easy mistake to make. Yeah. Anyway, um, is there a Mrs. Pierce? Well, 
I've come to the conclusion that there's just too much love in me for one woman. I don't follow. Basically, I love every woman on the planet, and I'm pretty sure 97% of them love me too. So I can't be tied down to just one woman. Why don't you uh, come and sit next to me, baby doll? That's okay. It's okay. I won't bite. You know I want to. But don't resist. I think it might be better to keep a professional distance. I understand. You think if you sit next to me, you won't be able to control yourself. It's okay, and I'm flattered. Anyway, um, what about the other three percent that don't love you? They're yeah, bulldogs. <clears throat> oh, hey, didn't see you there. Does this happen often? All the time. Women love athletes. And you, for some reason. Probably not even gonna call us again. Wait, I'll call you. Give me your number. Nah, you're alright. What about you? Can I have your number? So, when do we get our 50 pounds? <laughs> um, I'm just glad you've enjoyed yourselves. Now get out of here. No wait, you said we get 50 pounds for this. Get out of here! You get nothing now because you've spoiled it. They're covering their tracks. They think the Port Patrol will see this. They're prostitutes. Okay. Um. Alright. I've noticed sometimes you talk in a poetic style. Yeah, that's why I'm the complete package. I create two kinds of beauty in this world. Because God made me an artist and an athlete. And I hear a poet? Yeah, sure. A swan sails down the stream towards the valley ahead, meeting a mass of cream. I cry as the swan is dead. What does it mean? The cream was toxic foam. The swan fucking died of hypothermia because its feathers were affected badly. It breaks my heart. Beautiful, isn't it? <clears throat> you seem quite upset. Um, why is that? Did you witness it happen? One of the saddest days of my life. I sat there for hours with the swan in my arms. We just cried and cried together. It was like a beautiful avian baby. He's very maternal. And then? Well, it seemed a shame to waste it, so I had it for dinner. Okay, um, well my time's more or less up, is there anything further you want to say? Never give up. When I was a child watching darts, I was surrounded by an endless sea of bodies. I said to myself that one day I'm going to make it. Not be one of these sweaty, intoxicated individuals spilling beer on my skull as I look on. I'm going to be Moses. The sea will part before me. And I made it. That crowd in Bradford for a moment, I was the embodiment of excellence. But that's all we get. Just one chance. Don't abuse your destiny.